Water is life. What isn't important about water? No water, no life. All human natural and bill systems depend upon water. Water plays a major role in basically every level of political and civic life. You can't survive without water, and as a result, it really is essential that we address a lot of the issues around water, not just the scientific ones, not just the political ones, but you know, the, the big issues, the fact that there are billions of people who don't have access to clean drinking water. The Tufts Institute for the Environment is the umbrella organization at Tufts for environmental programs. So certainly we've benefited from having the support of Thai of the WISP program. This is an interdisciplinary program, so I'm able to, to utilize the expertise of, of faculty members as well as take classes uh, that provide you know, different perspectives about how to address water resource problems and, and issues. Tufts is a pretty fluid place, and we can adjust as we go along. Water is on the forefront of many people's minds already. I would say, in, particularly in developing countries where people actually have to walk every day in order to get water. Where we're not so conscious of water is where people are used to having water 24-7 and not having to think about where that water comes from. Historically speaking, water was something that everybody was deeply concerned about because if you had bad water, then everyone was sick. In Amman, Jordan, they have rationed water. So intermittent water supply, they only get water sometimes. They, get, they have something called water day. They get water one day or two days a week. It's not something that's easy to transport. You have to have access to it at all times and in copious amounts. It's just fundamental. And right now, we've been using water sort of unsustainably. One of the big issues that's facing us is our ability to produce more food for more people. So um, access to having enough water to be able to grow that food is going to be a tremendous challenge over the next 50 years as uh, populations increase but our ability to expand the footprint of agriculture doesn't necessarily increase. The political factions in the Middle East are making it even more complicated. One of the places I went, um, you drive around and it's like 100 degrees out, it's so hot. Then you drive a little further and there's sprinklers watering fields at 11 a.m., which is prime time for evaporation. These people are just throwing water away. In New England, Water is not a limiting factor for us at this time. I think it's going to be a while before people start to um, think of water in any sort of an urgent sense. Water diplomacy is, is really about how to work out complex conflicts around water. Water issues have traditionally been addressed primarily from a technical standpoint, but I think as we can see with both climate adaptation um, and any other of the major water, water issues, there's a lot of policy relevant decisions there and they're all going to require trade-offs and decisions between different parties and different groups. I, I can't place enough emphasis on the need for interdisciplinary research, interdisciplinary policies, interdisciplinary approaches more generally, particularly when we're, we're doing planning. Water is used for so many purposes. There is always conflict around water. In fact, I think the State Department over a decade ago said that the, the future wars will largely be fought over water. I, I think there's a growing emphasis or a growing understanding among the agricultural population of, of climate change, partly because it's one of the first places that you actually see it. I mean, as, as we know, uh, you know, climate change is anthropogenically caused. And it's all human and natural systems are tied to climate, are sensitive to climate. As the climate changes, we're going to impact all these systems. Most environmental problems have a water dimension to them, and vice versa. I mean, it's hard to find a problem around water where there isn't an environmental conflict. I'm an engineer, so we've been looking at how to service water for people for time immemorial, but only really very recently have we thought about the environment. Well, the biggest challenge working in the Alewife Brook is that you name a type of pollution and we have it. It is almost impossible to tell where that pollution comes from. There are so many polluters and so much of it is so-called non-point source pollution. It doesn't come out of a pipe with somebody's name on it. It runs off somebody's parking lot or through somebody's land and it might start upstream hundreds of yards um, in somebody's over-fertilized backyard. I think, unfortunately, it's going to take a series of crises 
for us to really value water. And we're starting to see these crises because of climate change. We're seeing more extreme events, more floods, more droughts. We're seeing more water shortages. And unfortunately, this is making people more aware of the importance of water and how the availability of water is changing. There are two kinds of researchers at academic institutions. Those that sort of go off and work behind their door and never interact with the real problem. And then those that want to go out and really interact with the problem. Well, the WISP practicum is designed to give um, our students practical experience solving real world water problems in an interdisciplinary way. The WISP program in particular has been able to really connect me to different professors and students and researchers throughout the university that are doing work on water issues that are really relevant to my interests, but that I might not otherwise have gotten a chance to meet. The advantage of doing this action-based research is that we advance knowledge, but also that the focus of the research, the subjects of the research, the stakeholders in the research also benefit. And also I think many of us find that kind of research a lot more exciting because we're combining cutting-edge knowledge with real-world problem solving. And that's what WISS is about.